This tutorial explains how to format numbers using the format function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the vector object that we can create with lines two to three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a numeric vector object containing five elements. And as you can see, these elements have many digits at the right side of the decimal point. So let's assume that we want to format the appearance of these numbers in the RStudio console. Then we can apply the format function as you can see in line six of the code. So within the format function, we need to specify the name of our vector object. So in this case, our vector object is called X. And then we can apply different arguments within the format function. So one very useful argument is the digits argument, as you can see in line six of the code. And in this case, I'm specifying that I want to show only three digits on the right side of the decimal point. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the bottom that another output has been created. And as you can see this time, our numbers are shown with only three digits. And you can also see that the numbers are formatted to the character string class. So our input data is a numeric vector and the output data is a character string. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the digits argument of the format function. However, it's also possible to use other arguments of this function. And another example that I want to show you is shown in line eight of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using the n small argument. And in this case, I'm specifying this argument to be equal to 15. And this argument specifies the minimum number of digits that should be shown to the right side of the decimal point. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that another output is created. And as you can see this time, we have specified 15 values at the right side of the decimal point. You can also see that this output is again formatted as a character string. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.